Good morning. Jesus is Lord. Thank God the Word works. We've been talking about um, your confession of faith. Romans 10, I believe it's 10, says, With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth, with your mouth, your confession is made unto your salvation. And I shared with you some examples from the Old Testament and from the New Testament, people's confession of faith and how it moved God to do exactly what they said. I'm going to give you another one today. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Listen to what Nebuchadnezzar said, and this is Daniel chapter 3. He said, If you fall down and worship the image which I have made myself, but if, no, let's see, which I have made well, but if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Now, I want you to listen to what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. They said, O Nebuchadnezzar, now they weren't smart aleck. They were respectful, but they made their confession of faith. They said, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not anxious to answer you in this matter. If it is so, that means if you throw us into the fiery furnace, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Listen to what they said. said, our God is able to and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, in other words, if you don't throw us into the burning fiery furnace, then be it known unto you, O king, that we will not serve your gods nor worship the golden image which you have set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake, and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times more than it was than it was wont to be heated. And he threw them in. And you know the end of the story. That he said, I cast three men in. And he said, but lo, there are four in there. Why? Had they said with their mouth, well, we're willing to burn for God then they would have burned, but they didn't say that. They said, our God is able and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. Now, Nebuchadnezzar was the king of the world at that time, or at least the, the greatest kingdom on the earth. And yet, because they trusted in God, but they made their confession of faith, our God is able and our God will will. It's not enough to say our God is able. Everybody knows God is able. But you've got to declare with your mouth what God will do for you. And yes, God delivered them out of the burning fiery furnace. And it was so hot that the people that cast them in were burned. So you can see how their confession of faith caused God to move in their behalf. Well, your confession of faith David said this over and over again, that God, you deliver me out of all of my troubles. You know, people talk about going through things. You don't have to go through anything. God delivers you out of trouble, and he will keep you out of trouble. We don't have to go through anything. So you make your confession right now. I don't have any problems. My God has delivered me out of all of my trouble in Jesus' name. My God is a mighty God, and great deliverance has he given to me. Remember today that Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.